Okay, looks like we're live. Welcome everybody to this uh, OKX Masterclass with us, Perpetual Protocol. Really glad to have everybody here. I'll just go ahead and share my screen so you can see some slides that we've prepared. Brilliant, so we'll have to give a quick introduction about OKX, uh, open source protocol, uh, while we are waiting for the rest of them. So, uh, hello everyone. Yeah, no audio. Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, I could finally hear you. Okay, I think there was something wrong with the microphone. Sorry about that. So <laughs> I think we'll have to start. So uh, welcome, Viting and Lee, for uh, OKX's Masterclass episode one for the India market. And uh, today, uh, Whiting and Lee walk us through on how to future trade on DEX, Masterclass on how to profit from funding payments, staking on perp and much more today. So this is going to be a very interesting session. I let uh, Whiting and Lee take it ahead from here. Thanks, guys. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. We're super happy to be here. We really enjoyed our uh, AMA on your Telegram channel. I guess that was a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, so we're really happy to be back and doing another event with OKX and the awesome Indian community that you guys have. So we're really happy for everybody to be here. Uh, I'll just uh, share my screen, like I mentioned, just a moment. All right, so uh, waiting, can you confirm you can see this slide? Yeah, I can see it now. Great, okay. Okay, so as we mentioned, we are Perpetual Protocol. I assume that most of the people on the call right now uh, were also in the AMA. So you should have a basic understanding of who we are and uh, what the protocol does, but I'll just sort of recap a little bit have a little refresher in case uh, anybody forgets. I am uh, Lee KB. I'm the marketing manager at Perpetual Protocol. And uh, you can find me via our Discord. I'm pretty active in there. Sometimes I appear on our Telegram group too, but most of the time you will see Waiting, my colleague who's on the call today, and uh, some of our other mods. We have a couple of friendly mods in there as well. You're welcome to ask them any questions or ask any questions anytime you have them. Uh, so Perpetual Protocol actually started uh, officially, well, it started back in uh, 2019, around October, and was running in dark mode, sort of developing quietly up until about last summer when uh, this, we, we had a launch on our, our test net and also got some investment from some pretty major investors in the space. And uh, finally, after a lot of hard work, we launched our main net product in uh, December 2020. And ever since then, we've been growing pretty quickly. We've exceeded 3 billion US dollars in volume since then. And uh, over a million trades have been made on our platform since December. So it's pretty going pretty well, but we also have a lot of room to grow. And uh, yeah, so we're really excited to have you all here uh, for this quick overview. All right, so let's just get, get right into it. Um, I'll just give a brief description of what Perpetual Protocol is. And then after that, I'll show everyone a quick demo of our staking system if you want to stake perp tokens. And after that, finally, I'll pass it over to Waiting, who will show you all how to take advantage of our, uh, our exchange, the online exchange, to earn something called a funding payment. Some of you may be familiar with funding payments from uh, other Perpetual exchanges. Uh, and waiting, we'll go over that. So the basic idea of Perpetual Protocol, uh, the, the sort of most important product that we have is our exchange at perp.exchange. And on that, on that platform, perp.exchange, you can buy and sell uh, something called Perpetual Contracts. The simple explanation is uh, you can buy and you can go long or short on a variety of tokens. So far, we have 12 tokens which sounds like a small number, but actually in the perpetual space, that's not too bad. Like the, uh, the biggest and oldest perpetual, it's not the biggest anymore, but the, the oldest perpetual uh, contract exchange, BitMEX, which is also pretty famous from the US. Actually, they're not based in the US anymore, but uh, they have 13, 13 different 
uh, pairs to trade from, and we have 12 already. So we're quickly uh, looking to exceed them. And we're really looking forward to that. So yeah, you can go long or short on a variety of tokens. And you can also do this with up to 10x leverage, uh, which means you can be even more capital efficient. Let's say you have 100 US dollars, you want to buy Bitcoin, you can buy up to $1,000 worth of Bitcoin using your $100. Uh, so that's a, a pretty interesting feature. And we're really happy to bring this feature into the DeFi space. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we are the first perpetual contract uh, that's 100% on-chain. So all trades happen on-chain using an AMM style model, just like Uniswap. Uh, so a lot of our competitors will have part of the operation off-chain, part on-chain, whereas we are completely on-chain. Uh, so in a, in a little while, uh, Waiting will go over more details of like how to use perp.exchange and exactly you know, some, some use cases for that, for you to, to earn money on, the, on perp.exchange. Now, something that uh, people love to know about, especially in DeFi, is tokens. So, of course, our project also has a token. It's called the PERP token, P-E-R-P. And this, this token uh, is a governance token at its, at its fundamental core. And the idea being that you can buy the token and use the token to vote and guide the future direction of the protocol. And we already have a lot of votes that have happened using this token, including which pairs to list on perp.exchange and uh, how, to, how to spend the, the funds in our DAO uh, for marketing or for bounties or partnerships with other projects. So you can vote on that as well. So if you're interested in governance, then we recommend getting some perp tokens and you can participate in our governance which happens both on our Discord server as well as our governance forum, which is gov.perp.fi. But I would recommend coming to the Discord, get to know us a little bit, and uh, you'll find out the more information about the interesting governance that we have going on. Uh, in addition to the governance, the Perp token also has some incentives to uh, get more users into using the token. Uh, those incentives right now are mostly based on staking. In DeFi, staking, of course, is a very popular uh, way to earn some yield on your, on your investment. And Perp Token is, is no different. It also has some, some rewards you can earn by staking. Uh, so right now, we'll just get right into the staking. I think a lot of people are probably interested in this. So I'll give you a quick live uh, demo about the staking. So let me just share my screen here. Switch to the staking. Hold on. All right, so now you should see the staking interface. Waiting, can you just confirm that it's looking all right? Yep, yep. it's looking good. All right, great. So uh, staking for our our platform happens at staking.perp.exchange. And all you need to do is connect your wallet. Right now we support MetaMask as well as Wallet Connect. So there's a variety of different options you can have. I'm using MetaMask right now. Okay, so I click connect. You may notice that nothing happens. So if you're using MetaMask, just a moment. If you're using MetaMask with some different networks, you have to make sure you are connected to the Ethereum mainnet network. So I'll just switch over to Ethereum mainnet and now you can see my wallet is connected and we're ready to stake. All right. If you wanna stake, you have to first prepare some Ethereum to pay for gas fees as well as some perp tokens to stake with. I've prepared some perp tokens here already now, the first step in staking is to approve the, the tokens to be used by our staking smart contract. Now, you have two options. You can approve a certain amount, or you can approve an infinite amount or virtually infinite amount. It just approves a very large number. It's safer to approve a small amount. This only gives our smart contracts access to a limited amount of your tokens. Whereas if you approve the, the infinite amount, you can save on some transaction fees. The risk of this being that if there's a hack, 
uh, or some sort of problem, then your fees may be token, taken away. There's a recent example, which is Furo Combo, uh, that had an incident with this type of hack. Uh, so we recommend that you just only approve the amount that you want to stake. So I'll go ahead and approve this staking amount. You'll have to sign the transaction in MetaMask or using your Wallet Connect connected wallet. Normally, I like to pick a, a gas fee, but for this, we'll just go right ahead and confirm that. All right, so hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, while we're waiting, I'll just uh, explain a little bit about the staking process. You can stake your tokens anytime and also unstake your tokens at any time. However, there's one important thing to keep in mind. When you unstake the tokens on Perpetual Protocol, you need to wait 14 days, so that's two week period, in order to uh, completely unlock the tokens. So you can stake anytime and also begin the unstaking process at any time. But keep in mind that once you begin the unstaking process, it will take, um, yeah, two weeks or 14 days to complete the unstaking process. Now, the reason behind this is uh, the goal of staking for Perpetual Protocol is to sort of provide a backstop for the exchange at perp.exchange that Waiting will show us in a minute. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's a slight delay you have to wait while you're unstaking your tokens. Okay, so luckily the transaction went through pretty quickly and we are ready for the next step, which is to actually stake those tokens. So I'm just gonna continue with the same amount, my 579 roughly tokens. So I'll just click stake and there's a second transaction to sign for. <clears throat> Just enter a little bit higher fee to make sure it confirms quickly. As you can see, it does cost quite a bit in fees. So it is advantageous to wait for a, a, a lower period of, of volume on the Ethereum network if you wanna pay a lower fee. Okay, so the second thing to keep in mind for staking is uh, as you'll see in a minute, there are a few different types of rewards in our staking program. Uh, right now, our rewards consist of uh, perp rewards. All right, so we can see here, I've now officially staked my 579 tokens. And eventually you'll start to see some rewards accumulating here. Now, as I was just saying, there are two, actually three different types of rewards at the moment. Uh, there are perp rewards and USDC rewards. USDC rewards actually will come from the perp.exchange exchange fees. So when traders make trades, there's a 0.1% fee on every trade. In the future, we plan to give a portion of those trading fees to stakers. At the moment, uh, this part of the plan has not, unroll, uh, has not rolled out yet. And for the time being, all the rewards that you'll receive are from the perp rewards section here on the left side. And perp rewards come in two different forms. Uh, one is what we call a liquid reward that you can receive right away and start using right away. You can sell it or stake it again or do whatever you like with it. Those rewards are calculated based on uh, the amount of trading that happened in a given week on perp.exchange. So if there's a lot of trading happening on perp.exchange, then those rewards will be higher. Uh, the rest of the rewards are given as a vesting reward. So those rewards will vest after six months. In other words, if you stake your tokens and you receive the reward, you have to wait six months before you're able to use those rewards. Now you may be thinking, wow, that's a long time. So why would anybody want to do this? And the main reason is, uh, at least right now, the APR for this uh, staking program is pretty high. So if you stake your tokens, uh, effectively, if you stake it for a whole year, you'll be getting almost a, a 1.5 times the amount that you stake. So if I stake 500 today, after a year, I'll end up with, uh, I think it's, if my math is not wrong, I'll, I'll end up with almost 750 per as reward. Uh, so that's a pretty, pretty interesting proposition. Also, as the 
uh, exchange as the trading volume on the exchange increases, the liquid rewards will also increase. So you'll have more and more rewards that you can use right away. Another important thing to keep in mind is that our staking runs on a weekly basis. So this uh, estimated APR is for right now, but actually the final APR will be calculated after one week. Uh, and that happens every Sunday night and the actual calculation will happen on Monday and the rewards will be issued on Monday. So this number here will not increase until Monday. And I believe it actually says that in the tooltip. Anyway, yeah, so this perp reward will not, yeah, resting amount, okay, <laughs> anyway. The perp reward won't actually move until Monday. So every Monday you can see the rewards that you uh, have accumulated here. Okay, so that's uh, the basic re uh, staking introduction. Uh, if you have further questions, you're absolutely welcome to come to our Discord or Telegram channel anytime. And, uh, or I think after the end of this class, we'll have a quick Q&A session. So you're welcome to raise questions then as well. Uh, yeah, so that's it for me. I'll pass the microphone over to Wei Ting and he will share more information about how to use Perpetual Protocol and Perp.exchange. So go ahead. Yep. Please, is this showing on your end? Yeah, looks good. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, let me just move it, move it to here a little bit. So uh in my in my session i will just teach you teach everyone about how to properly fund funding payments so first thing first um my name is waiting chain and i'm a growth manager at perpetual protocol so i have been trading bitcoin and shit coins since 2016 when they are still called old coins and later during the first bull run i work as a product manager for a bitcoin debut company based in hong kong so the company is similar to yx or monolith in the Europe, where you could top up your Visa or MasterCard with your Bitcoin. Then later, fast forward to 2019 and 2020, I will work for a centralized exchange based in Bangkok. So this is the part I'm going to cover. So I will starting from what is perpetual contract and what are the funding payments. D has briefly mentioned about it, but I will just keep explaining it to a little deeper. And later I will explain, I will do a live demo to tell you how you could profit from the funding payments. And after the demo is over, I will just point out some extra resources you could use. Uh, you could learn more about our protocol and other ways you could profit from, from those things. And the last part will be Q&A. So what is the perpetual protocol? Uh, it's a derivative or I should say financial products that allows you to use USDC or stable coins to speculate on an asset price movement with leverage. So you use uh, USDC to open the position. And if it's a profitable trade, you will receive more USDC than the amount you put in. Otherwise, you will receive less USDC. And the only asset you, you touch during the trades is USDC. Well, sounds complicated, right? So here's an example. So assuming you are a trader who only has USDC or stablecoin in your account, uh, and what you can do with that USDC to speculate on the price movement is you could open a position with a USDC as a collateral. For instance, if you think the price of Bitcoin will go up, you should open a long position. On the other hand, if you think the price of Bitcoin will go down, uh, then you should open a short position. Then following the, if, if, if you open a long position and the price of Bitcoin goes up, then you'll receive more USDC than the amount you put in for this position. And if Satoshi just comes back to life and everyone panic and price of Bitcoin drops, then you'll receive less USDC. And the same logic applies to short position, but I'll just skip over here. So, uh, but since it's a derivative, the price of a perpetual contract is not always necessarily the same as that of the underlying asset. For instance, in our previous example, the trader here, he is trading a BTC perpetual contract, right? But the price of a BTC perpetual contract isn't always the same as the underlying asset. For instance, uh, well, when I made, a made this slide, the price of Bitcoin is 60,500 US dollar. 
And at that time, the price of the BTC per purchase contract on OKEX is 60,500 US dollar. On the other hand, on Coinbase, the spot price of Bitcoin is 60,000 US dollar. So uh, that means that there are too many loans on the perpetual market, which is a, is a common thing to see during the bull market because a lot of people just think, oh, Bitcoin go moon, so I should open long position despite the price is worse. So there are too many loans on a perpetual market. But you know, the price differences is not really fair for those who open a short position. So to correct, to, to somehow incentivize more people to open a short position, uh, here comes the, the funding payment. So funding payment is a mechanism used to periodically incentivize people to take the less popular side on a perpetual market, which is a short side in our example because uh, there are too many loans on a perpetual market. So loans, which is those people who open long position going to pay the loans who open short position during the funding time. And on OKEX, which happens once per eight hour. So as you can see, um, here is a formula to calculate the funding payment. The funding payment is calculated as the, uh, the value, the position value in US dollar multiplied by the current funding rate. And the funding rate here on OKES was 0.193%. That means that if you have 1,000 US dollar worth of short position, then you could receive 1.93 US dollar during the next funding time, which happens once per eight hours on OKEX. Uh, to recap, uh, so if the funding rate is positive, as the screenshot show over here, long position holders going to pay to the short position holders during the funding time. Uh, on the other hand, if this rate is negative, short's going to pay long. So that is the, the fast overview, overview of how perpetual contract works and what are the funding payments. Here are the live demo section. I'm going to teach you how you could probably find two sides of funding payments on both OKEX and perpetual protocol. But before we start, uh, there are some prerequisites I need to go through. The first thing is uh, you need to have some USDT in your OKEX account because on um, OKEX, um, they use USDT uh, as a stable coin for perpetual country. Whereas on um, perpetual protocol, we use USDC. And the second part is just like they just show you all uh, you need to have MetaMask installed on your browser and with some ease inside because everything happens on perpetual protocol is on chain. So uh, when you want to deposit your USDC, you need to spend some ETH. And lastly, you need to be able to legally trade perpetual contract in your country. Otherwise, you just, you simply cannot do it. Yep. And here comes the live demo session. Hope everything works. So let's go to OKEX, which should be uh, the most familiar exchange uh, the audience are, are familiar with. So our OKEX, there are actually two types of perpetual contract. They actually, uh, our OKEX, uh, it's, it's, it's actually called perpetual swap, but it's the same as perpetual contract. And there are two types of perpetual contract on OKEX. One is called crypto margin perpetual swap, and another call is USDT margin perpetual swap. And we're going to do with the second one. Then we go to USDC and USDT perpetual contract. Okay, let's open full screen because I don't want to go blind. Uh... Waiting, I think you got to switch your screen over. Your, you got to share the other window. We can only see your. Uh, oh, slide window. Okay, guys, sorry. Oh, how can I do this? One second. How should the... this is working on UN? Yeah, it looks <clears throat> good. That's good. Yeah, let me go back to the last page. Yep. So here are the two types of perpetual swap on um, OKS, as I mentioned. So one is called crypto margin perpetual swap, and another one is called USDT margin perpetual swap. And we're going to do with the later. So let's click this one. Yep. 
and open the full screen. Okay. Uh, so as you everyone can see, the predicted rates on OKES right now is 0.085%, which means that you will get paid if you open a show position. So quick recap, if you uh if the rate is positive, you get paid, you will you'll get paid if you open a show position. If this rate is negative, you'll get paid if you open a long position. So right now we are on this page, so you could just go to the, the, the open section and click mark order. And I could type 0 0.02, oops, sorry, 0 0.02 BTC here. And we are not going to open right now, but so the path for OKS will stop off here. So let's move to perpetual protocol. They could you see perpetual perp exchange on your end? Okay, that's good. So, uh, if you go to prep exchange, the first thing we need we ask you is you need to connect your wallet. So right now we support MetaMask and Tracer and Ledger, but in today's demo, I'll just connect with MetaMask. Okay, once it is connected, the first thing you need to do is you need to deposit the USDC in your MetaMask. So I just click masks and then approve. then send out transaction on Ethereum network. So usually um, this step takes around like one minute, but it depends on how much gas price you set. And we usually recommend people to top up to deposit USDC during when the gas price isn't that high. And also, if you think you just wait too long, you could also speed up your transaction. Oops. Maybe while we're waiting, if there are any questions, you're welcome to put them, just type it into the chat on YouTube and we're happy to answer. We do have some basic questions like, how is the current funding rate calculated and uh, how is your position? Obviously we can see that by an excess mutual probably a little bit out of that as well. Lee, could, could you answer those question? I'm trying to figure out how to speak out right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't hear the question very clearly. Yep. So uh, we do have a few questions, some basic ones as well, uh, as to how uh, the position is covered by Nexus Mutual, what is your partnership with them, and uh, some other basic questions on the perpetual swap trading, like how the current funding rate is calculated as well. Probably uh, in the time I'm writing uh, uh, things up, you can probably help answering those. Sure. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, all the trades on, on our platform are covered by Nexus Mutual via Armor. Uh, people may have heard of Armor Finance. Uh, and also we have a second uh, insurance partner called Unslashed Finance. So between these two, uh, they each have 2.5 million USD worth of insurance coverage for all traders using perpetual protocol uh, perp.exchange. So if you trade on perp.exchange and there's a hack or a smart contract exploit uh, your funds will be covered up to 5 million US dollars. And there's no need for users to buy it or set it up. It's just automatically at a, at a protocol level uh, there for, for you. Uh, in addition, uh, we have a, a few other different security features that, we, that we're pretty, pretty happy with. Uh, all of our smart contracts are audited by two different auditing companies. 
uh, professional auditors. Uh, one of them is Consensus, which is a very well-known uh, auditor. Uh, well, they do a lot of different things in the space. Even MetaMask is actually uh, developed in conjunction with, with Consensus. They're like a very big uh, organization in the Ethereum space. And the other uh, auditing company that we work with is PeckShield, which is also a very well-known auditing company. And both of these audits are sort of an ongoing process. Uh, are, you know, we're always developing new features and updating our, our, our code. So any, every, you know, not every time there's an update, but there are sort of consistent regular audits that, that happen. And our team is working with the auditors all the time to improve our code. So we're pretty happy with our code security, but like I say, it's an ongoing process that we're always working on to, uh, to improve. So it looks like, yeah, we think you're still uh, still ongoing in the process here. Yep. Uh, so right now the transaction is approved. So let's continue the depot session. Um, so the next thing you need to do is deposit the amount. So again, you just click on deposit and send out transaction on your MetaMask. So I'll just increase the gas fee just to, to let it pass faster. So the gas fee is kind of high when you deposit a small amount. So we actually have an article called how you could save up to 90% gas fee by depositing from Binance. So in this article, we just go, go through the, the tips, the step that you, you could, could save up to 90% on gas fee. So here are the actual number. So by, by depositing on Ethereum, like we just go through, sometimes if the gas fee is really high, it might take up to 70, 70 US dollar USDC. Whereas if you're going through the, the suggestion we have here on this article, sometimes it just costs you around five point, around five US dollar. So it's a really uh, good saving technique if you want to trade more on perpetual protocol. So right now the deposit is successful. Uh, and in the background, the, your money will be migrated to XDAI, which is a uh, which is a, a side chain of Ethereum where transaction is happening faster. Faster and much cheaper as well. In fact, it's it's so cheap that currently when you trade on perp on perp dot exchange, we the the perpetual protocol team will pay for all transaction fees. So in a minute, you'll see when waiting makes a trade, uh, you don't need to pay any transaction fee at all. You just pay the 0.1% uh, trading fee. Exactly. And while we are waiting for its validating on X side, I think we previously have another question regarding to how we calculate the funding payments. So uh, we have a documentation on docs.per.fi, uh, which uh, is quite detailed. Let me just find funding payments. Funding rate. Yep. So because there are a lot of exchanges offering a uh, perpetual contract, and um, each one has their unique way to calculate the funding rates. So this is a formula we use. Basically, we uh, the the interval we use is one hour. So once per hour, our system will calculate the time weighted average price of of our exchange. For instance, this is the BTC perpetual market, right? So once per hour, our system will calculate the price, the, the time weighted average price of these markets and divide it by the index price. And index price means that the average price across multiple exchanges because we want to have a, a price that could reflate the price of an asset. So once per hour, we we'll calculate the differences between the, 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 the TWA price on our exchange and the TWA price of the index price, which is the average price across multiple exchange and divided by 24. And then multiply, multiply by with the position size, then we get the funding payment. So that's how we calculate the funding payments. And each exchange has their slightly different approach, but I suggest you could check with the, the exchange that you use. So let's go back to our live demo. So the next thing is approve. So at the, so after the deposit, uh, deposit step, uh, and as a Ventamask user, you don't need to pay for gas fee after the second step. So you just click approve. 
and then sign a transaction. Yep, and then you are good to go. So right now you can see your USDC balance and now comes to two dollar US dollar USDC. So as we just put in over here, we want to open 0 0.02 BTC on both sides. So right now, because the funding rate on per exchange is actually negative. So you get paid if you open long position. Whereas on OKEX, the funding rate is positive, means that you get paid if you open a short position. So the idea here is you open the same size in our case, it's 0 0.02 BTC at the same time with the same amount, but with different different direction. So, so because those two are different directions, so they kind of negate with each other. So there's no, there should be no, uh, there should be no market exposure to you. And at the same time, two two positions on different exchanges get paid at the same time. So that's really high level of what we're going to go do next. So. Here's what we're going to do. So on um, Prepta Exchange, you just type 0 0.02 BTC. And uh, in order to, to keep your SSF, it's recommended that you use low amount of leverage because you know things could get crazy in the crypto space. And I think we all of us love money. So you better just lower your leverage. And so your money could be saved during when the market is volatile. So in here, because I'm really positive, so I just use 2.5 leverage. So I just click trade and then sign a transaction on my MetaMask. And as you can see, there is no gas fee involved in this step. You just click trade and then it should be show here in any time soon. Voila, it's over here. And because everything is on chain, you could actually go to trade history and click on the link and you will just brought you to uh, Blascal, which is the Ethereum, uh, Ether scan equivalent of XDAI. So, you know, everything, as they mentioned, everything happens on chain and so it's quite transparent. So right now we have opened a position on, uh, on Prepta Exchange with 0 0.02 BTC. And now we're gonna do is go to OKEX and do the same thing. And remember, you need to open the show position over here because you get paid if you open a show position. So just open the show position over here and YOLO, let's go. Yep, and so that is how you open a position on both platform. And, and usually when I do this, I actually do it myself. So when I, when I do this, I will calculate the information. For instance, we just open a position on both platform, right? And I will usually write down the margin of position size and leverage of the, the things I just did. And then uh, if you go to per exchange, there's a tab called funding payment. So once per hour, you can see how many money you get paid to, to open, a platform, open a loan position on per exchange. And there's a same thing on OKES2. OKES, OKES so by doing this, this calculation, you just recall then over here, then you have a better sense of how market is going right now. So let's go back to our slides over here. And I believe I need to switch to my slides. This is showing on your end, right? Okay, sounds good. So to recap, what we just what we just demo. So you need to open a short position as a venue where the funding rate is positive. So in our previous example, that would be OKEX, but you know you could use other exchanges too. So and uh, secondly, you could open a long position as the venue where the funding rate is negative. And in our previous example is prep exchange. And I have attached a link over here, and you can click to see the the history funding rates on per perpetual protocol. And don't use too much leverage because you don't want to get your money blow up and it, your position might get liquidated if you use a lot of leverage. 
And last thing is, uh, sometimes gas fee would be really high as you just see it. So we recommend people try out to use another approach to deposit your USDC to private exchange. And this is my personal preferences. I usually recall the funding payment I receive like once per day to have a better sense of where market is going. And here are the extra resources you could look into. So the first one is uh, an article I have, I wrote on Bankless. So basically this article just goes through everything I just teach you, but with three extra tips that you use to make money with funding payments. So because the thing I just told you is, it's a market neutral approach to open two positions on two exchanges to make money, right? But there are other ways to make money from uh, funding rates. And those, the things I will, I teach in the article requires zero technical skills. So everyone could just try to do it. And the second one is we as Perpetual Protocol actually release a bot we use to upcharge between FTX and, uh, and Perpetual Protocol. And that requires a little bit of technical skill. So if you could, you know how to run command line and you have a little knowledge, knowledge of AWS, you should be good to go. And the last thing is uh, we actually work with a uh, uh, a company called Hummingbots. Uh, they they have a connector to make it easier for you to arbitrage between provincial protocol and uh, spy exchanges. So, but that requires some level of technical skill. But those three things, feel free to, free to try it out after you have tried the the, the demo the thing I teach you in the demo session. So that's the uh, the all all the thing we have today and. So that's the Q&A session begins, I guess. Thank you so much, uh, Whiting and Dave. This was very informational. Definitely, I'm personally gonna use the product and we definitely gonna put all those links and uh, the extra resources as well in the description. So if anybody has any questions, we can direct them to your Discord channel. I believe that's where you are mostly active. Is that right, Discord? Yep. So we'll be sure to direct them there and uh, this was great. We should definitely do this again. And uh, in in terms of questions, I think we had two earlier. Let me see if we have anything else here. This is kind of an odd time of the day for uh, AMA, I guess. So we are having quite minimal than we usually have. No, it's, we actually have a really ATF this call um, community. So you could, if you watching this on YouTube after the show is over, you could just join our Discord or join our Telegram to ask questions. Yeah, totally, totally, definitely. So let's see. Oh, people definitely like that you're the only platform who's playing for opening longs. So it's definitely great. So, so hey, thank you so much, guys. I don't think we have much questions there, but we'll definitely uh, direct uh, anybody uh, who ask, has any questions. I think Rahul will be really helpful in that one. He'll definitely push, it, push uh, them to the Discord channel. Uh, it has been great. Thank you so much, guys. You have a great day ahead. And uh, let's talk. Have a good one. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks a lot. It's been great. Great. Thanks a lot for having us. It's been, uh, it's been great. <laughs>